Hello and welcome to the inaugural GDA, Game Dev Anonymous meeting. My name's Daniel and I've got a confession to make. And that is that I could not finish a game project to save my life. I'm sure a lot of you can relate to this statement, jump in from one project to the next, and each one is going to be the best idea ever, the best game ever. Until eventually you realise you can't actually ever finish one of your game's projects, so you start referring to them as prototypes, which technically they are. But realistically, you're just saying the word prototype, so the pressure's off to need to release it because a game is released into the world, right? But prototypes, they can just go straight in the bin if you don't like them. And the problem with dealing with this lack of focus and discipline and also running a YouTube channel is that sometimes these failures are public, which is its own kettle of fish that's quite hard to announce a project and then realize, oh, what, why did I do that to myself? For example, the factory builder game I was making did two devlogs and touched it since. So yeah, I moved on from that now. And I've been thinking a lot recently about why I can't actually finish a game. And I think for me personally, it's like a one man band. Good game takes a long time to make, like years, multiple, multiple years. And I'm not incredibly passionate about that idea. Do I want to be spending ages on this one game idea for years to just hate it? But the answer is obviously no. And if I'm not passionate about that idea, which by and large I'm not, my enthusiasm wanes. And on top of that, lack of time's another thing. I have a full time day job. I've got other hobbies outside of game dev. You know, I kayak, for example. So when I am free, which is not very often, it's kind of in the evenings or the weekends. And I do want to be spending that time away from my computer because I'm at my computer all the time as well. But yeah, that's not great, obviously. Uh, lack of time. And another part of this is that I genuinely believe I've got a really cool, good idea uh, that I want to make as a game. And every time I'm working on a game that isn't that one, I'm just getting bored because I'd rather be making that game. But I avoid working on that game specifically because I don't want it to end up the same way as the other ones, just, you know, frustrated and just left as an empty shell of a thing. And throughout this video, I've been showing various clips of different projects I've been working on over my game dev career. Some have been playable to wider audiences, some have not. I don't want to be mega negative in this video all the way through. None of these games, <coughs> <clears throat> sorry, prototypes, have been wasted time. At least I don't think so. I've learned something during each one of them, whether that's a specific like feature to build, like an inventory system or a save load system. And as such, I furthered my knowledge of, you know, what I like and don't like about the game design process, programming in general, the game engine that I'm using, kind of the whole thing, you know, it's each time's learning experience that I can take on to the next prototype. So yeah, it's not being wasted time and I don't want this to be sort of a negative downer video. All of these projects are all building to something, I'm sure. And of course, they've served as inspiration for this YouTube channel as well and the tutorials that I'm making and the content I'm making. For example, the inventory system, uh, the building system, they were tutorials that have been spawned from work I was doing on my own little projects. Yeah, that, that, I don't know what where I'm going with this video. I know it's a bit of a ramble. Uh, do you relate to the ramble in this video? Are you a game dev stuck in the cycle of just growing your project folder on your computer but never actually finishing your prototypes? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.